What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I bring you first of many a starter guide series for Elden Ring and to, in this video we are going to go over the Astrologer. Seems like a lot of people are picking up Elden Ring since it was on sale for the holidays and I just wanted to bring out a couple series of videos starting with the starter classes and uh, try to help people out and um, so yeah, without further ado, uh, so if you pick the astrologer class, uh, you basically want to, you know, do what you got to do, uh, and then for the keepsake item, I would actually go with the crimson amber medallion, or you can go golden seed. Uh, but by the end of the game, you're actually going to have a bunch of extra golden seeds, uh, so I I just think it's irrelevant. Uh, so the crimson amber medallion is not too bad, just to give you a little boost of health at the beginning of the game. So once you have that. Go through and uh, pretty much, I mean, you can try and fight the boss, uh, but, I mean, you're meant to die there. So, uh, then you'll end up here in the Cave of Knowledge. Uh, just, I would just go down here. Uh, just that way, uh, again, for beginner's sake, uh, kind of teaches you how to play the game. Uh, use items, uh, block, defend, uh, two-hand, how to cast, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. So, I would just go through here. And you get a little bit of souls afterwards, which helps us get our uh, crafting kit, which is like the first item where you're going to get. So I would just go through, clear this cave, and then uh, you end up out here in Limgrave. All right, now that we are out here in Limgrave, uh, we are going to grab the first site of grace that we want to grab. We are going to grab a lot of graces in this starter guide, so I'll try to remember to grab them and show you guys where to grab each and every grace. Uh, but just go ahead and just grab, uh, grab this summoning pool item, uh, and then we are going to make our way over to the Church of Ella, which is directly north of this grace, and you can see me follow just pretty much north to this uh, church here. This is the Church of Ella, and we will find our merchant. And then once we get to the merchant, grab these smithing stones, and then we basically want to buy this crafting kit. It's always it's always just a great you know first item to get in the game. That way we can craft all kinds of stuff. Uh, so after you discover that grace, we are going to make our way over to the ruins. All right. So after you pretty much make it to these ruins, you are going to uh, just keep on going over to the uh, upper left part near the gate and then you'll grab this side of grace and then usually by this grace uh, you should be able to rest and then the maiden should talk to you and then uh, just say yes I want I accept and then she'll give you the spectral steed whistle which is pretty much gives you the ability to ride torrent okay so after you get torrent uh, go to your map and then uh, teleport to the church of Ella where we bought the crafting kit and then you'll be able to talk to Ronnie the witch and she'll be able to give you the summoning bell so that way you can have summons which is uh, going to be very handy for us as a mage after you're done talking to Ronnie go back to the gatefront ruins where we've got the first sight of grace over here to get torrent and then grab the map here at these uh, little obelisks uh, and then we'll try to grab them as we are traveling through and just run through and we are pretty much going to make our way uh, south following this main trail until we get to the waypoint ruins All right, so once you get here, you're going to fight Mad Pumpkinhead. Uh, I would definitely recommend to uh, use the Spirit Wolf Ashes to help you out here because uh, his helmet uh, blocks out most of the damage. But if not, you can just pretty much hug him and try to get behind him and cast the Glintstone Pebble at him until he dies. All right, now that you've defeated him, go ahead and open this door, and now we unlocked a, a sorceress that we can learn sorceries from, uh, and uh, we are actually going to go and grab a, another uh, scroll, that way we can give it to her and learn a sorcery really quick. 
Alright, once you make your way out of the Waypoint Ruins, you basically want to head south, follow the main trail, and then over on the left-hand side, you'll see these ruins, and then a little camp right in front of it. And then just loop around to the left, as you see me doing here, and you want to jump on top, and then you want to grab the Royal House Scroll. Once you picked up that scroll, continue riding Torrent, and then you want to make your way further south, and then over on this cliff, uh, you'll see the uh, little jump thing here. And then make your way across this bridge. Be careful of the ballista. I just go in between the uh, the defenses and you can't really shoot you. And then get this Sight of Grace. From this Grace you want to get back on Torrent and make your way further, further south. And then in this little area you'll see some dogs and a giant. Just hurry up and grab this Morning Star. This will be very important for us later on. And then we want to make our way further south and then grab another Sight of Grace. Alright, so from this grace, you want to put a mark on this in the uh, Lake of Aegeal. Uh, it's a very important uh, part that we are going to get to later. But make our way back to the Waypoint Ruins, and we are going to talk to Sorceress Selen now that we have the scroll. And you basically want to get give her that scroll, and then we are going to grab another spell. Give her the scroll. And then she will now have the Carrion Slicers. If you have the souls, like I said, just kind of kill things as you're running around. Uh, go ahead and grab that. It's one of the best close range spells in the game, especially for PvP and PvE. Costs like 4 FP and it does tons and tons of damage, especially the higher your intelligence goes. So now we have Glenstone Pebble and the Carrion Slicer. Now we are going to teleport back to the Church of Ella where we got the crafting kit and we're going to make our way down to the beach over on the west side. So right around here is where we want to go. Alright, so from here, run past the merchant, and you basically want to get to this waterfall. And then right here on this item, surrounded by the skeletons, we have the gold pickle fouled foot. And that'll help us uh, again later on when we're trying to grab some more runes. And you can pretty much go up these uh, air portals. And we go right back to where we first walked out to Limgrave. And then pretty much from here, you can pull up your map, and then we are going to go to that marker uh, with that we put down near the Dragon Burnt Ruins. And from there, we are going to get one of the best stabs in the game, uh, along with a really awesome spell. Now once you take that treasure chest, it'll transport you to the Salia Crystal Tunnel over in Kaelid. And this area is probably pretty devastating, especially where we are at, uh, where we are at right now level-wise. But come out, hug to the right, and then just go down to the hallway down to the left here. And then just run and dodge, and pretty much you should be, a, should be fine. And then you'll grab this Site of Grace right here. And I would just rest here just in case. Alright, so from this grace you want to head out and uh, call on Torrent, and you're basically going to ride basically over on the right side, just hug the right side of the swamp, and then basically hugging the cliff, uh, and then towards the back you'll see a little taller st structure, as you see right here, and then there's this uh, shiny right here, and then grab that, that'll give you the meteorite staff. And then head back towards the middle of the ruins, and then this structure right here, Open up this door, open up this chest, and now we have Rock Sling Spell, which is, again, one of the best spells for PvE in the game. Base, and then come back out, hug the right side, and we are going to grab this Grace. Now from this Grace, we are pretty much just going to follow the main road all the way up north, and then we are going to get a bunch of souls here soon. Alright, so you basically want to ride this Grace, and then right up the road here, there is this Grace. And then hit the main road, and then you're basically just going to follow this north, 
until we get to another grace. We're going to grab several graces on this trip, so just get ready. Uh, I sped up the video so that way you guys can uh, see every single grace. So we're going to go through uh, the Kalem Ruins here and just head straight through. And then here's another grace. Now from this grace, we're going to head east on our compass here. And then basically going to go to the cliff side. And then we can jump with torrent. So jump right here. And then there is another grace. Then after this grace, uh, we can go ahead and grab the map here. So that way we get a uh, feeling of where we are. And basically you just want to head uh, about southeast from there. And uh, see that cinder wall to our right. You basically just want to hug that uh, pretty much this cinder, like this fiery gate here. Uh, you just want to hug that. You see the big ass dragon here. And then you want to get to, to this grace. Okay, so from this grace, we are going to head in this castle here. Be careful of the enemies. Just run right through until you get to this ladder. And then climb up this ladder, and we are going to grab a uh, talisman, so that way we can be able to wield a weapon. Uh, you can grab all the stuff here if you want, um, but you want to go to the further rightmost uh, hole. And if you want to take out this rat, you can. Uh, but you basically jump through here, jump down, and then we have the Radagon Sword Seal. Now, you can try and get out of here, but, you know, if you want to spend all your souls before going in here, uh, if you die, then it's no big deal. You have the thing right out front, uh, and then basically what you want to do is equip the source seal so that way we can use our morning star. All right, so now we're going to go over and uh, kill this dragon. You guys have probably seen a ton of these guides uh, for Elden Ring, especially because it's been out for a while. This is a like a must-do, especially to get a bunch of souls. So basically, you want to equip the Morning Star, and you can two-hand it. You know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but basically, you are trying to proc bleed until you get that huge chunk of health to come off. So this may take you about maybe five to ten minutes. Um, yeah, it doesn't really take that long. I tried to speed it up as fast as I could without my uh, computer exploding. But basically, you want to get him down to a little bit of health. And then right before you kill him, uh, you want to pop the gold pickled foul foot that we picked up on the beach. So that way we can obtain way more souls uh, after we kill him. All right, so once you get him to about almost dead, uh, pop the gold pickled, foul, gold pickled foul foot. Sorry. And you basically just want to keep on hitting him until you get that last bleed proc. Uh, you might have to hit him a couple more times. Uh, sometimes it works. It just depends on your stats or, you know, whatever. Like, so depending if you're using the different starting classes. Uh, but basically, so I had to hit him a few more times after that last bleed. And then you see him moving and then you see his health bar is gone. And then see in the bottom right hand corner, I have now about 98,000 souls. So we are going to spend those souls. So we'll go right here to the grace. And basically, um, especially as a sorcerer, you want to try and upgrade as much health, uh, especially early game. So I would probably put your vigor at 20 and then your mind at 20. And then I would just crank intelligence. I would primarily focus on intelligence, maybe up until level 30, 40, um, and then pump your vigor uh, past that to 40. And then mind, uh, again, I think mind would be the last thing. Um, endurance you can pump up if you want to, um, but endurance is not really that, not really that important. But I would say 20 vigor, 20 mind, and then just pump your intelligence up. All right, so now that we have all of our stats, we want to go back to the gate front ruins, and we're going to grab our first golden seed. All right, so this next part's going to be a lot of riding around on torrent. So this is the first golden seed. Just go right up here on Storm Hill. And then you're going to make our way north and then up on the uh, right here. Grab this grace and then talk to this NPC. This will allow us to upgrade our summons. So just exhaust her dialogue. Keep going, keep going. Exhaust. So that way you can start her quest. So basically now we are going to skip Stormvale. So this is... a uh, really good especially for uh, mage builds uh, so you want to make your way over here on the map where this long bridge is and you'll see it's collapsed but that is no problem for us we can just go down up to the left loop around to the right and then just follow this path like you like you see me doing here like I said I try to speed up the video that way try to kill a bunch of dead time but make your way all the way over here and then you'll grab this grace. Now, from this grace, there is a little graveyard right up the road here. And at the top there, there is another scroll. 
And then we want to loop back around, go to the Church of Erith, and grab a Sacred Tear. And then from the Sacred Tear, go all the way down to this main path, and we just want to pretty much run through this camp. You can grab that if you want. And then we want to make it to this grace. Now from this grace, if you have the souls, talk to this merchant. He will sell you a lantern. And lanterns are very useful. Uh, you can equip it uh, in your thing. Uh, that way you can illuminate very dark places. And now we're going to grab our map for down here. So these guys will be surrounding it. So if you want to like lure them out or you know just chuck them with some rock slings, you know, grab this map. And then follow the hug the right side of the road. And then past these ruins, there'll be another grace. Now from this grace, directly, as you can see in the Lascar ruins, go to this teleporter. And this will teleport us right to the main gate of Rhea Lucaria. Alright, so once you get here, grab this grace and then follow the path that I will show you. Basically, you're going to grab a, another golden seed and the other map to this place. So head down, make a left right at this courtyard. Head down the steps, and then right over on the building to the right, there is another golden seed. And then make your way about south-southeast, and we're going to make our way down to where that obelisk is on our map. And we are going to grab another grace and the map to this area. Alright, so now that we have two golden seeds, we are going to go and get memory stones. So I'm going to show two real quick so we got one all the way up here so it's going to be a little bit of a ride and then there's one back south where we were but memory stones are pretty much uh permanent items that allow you to have more spells so of course more memory stones more spells so we're going to grab two real quick to start you off and the one is up north there where i put the first marker so we're going to ride torrent and head our way up there Alright, so from this grace, you're going to make our way over to the waypoint that I marked on the map. And uh, this is going to be a long ride, so I'm going to take this moment and uh, just let you guys know that if you guys want to stay up to date with guides and builds and anything of the sort, uh, drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you guys have any other suggestions or if you guys like this guide or want something added or any kind of features that you would like to see in future videos, drop down in the comments below. I'll be happy to see them. All right, now that we made it to this grace, you're going to make our way up to the rise and you are going to activate the altar and it's going to tell you seek three wise beasts. And basically you're just going to find like uh, aberrations of turtles uh, that are around this map and I'll show you guys the locations. So the first one uh, that I found is around the backside where you have to look up onto a tree. Sometimes you might see some messages. But look up and you'll see the turtle and just hit it with a spell. And then the other one is over off to the side here. It's the, to the left of the altar. And then the other one is off to the right near the cliffs. Right here. And then now the rise will be unlocked and I'll put a map location on all three of them. But once you have that, you are going to go up and climb up the ladder and at the very top, open the chest and you'll have a memory stone. All right, so we're going to grab our second memory stone. We want to go all the way south and grab the Castle Morn Rampart Grace that we obtained after getting the Morning Star. And we're just going to hurry up and go grab the map fragment down here. And then we're going to go off and get our second memory stone. So after grabbing the memory fragment, turn right around and head off to the left side and then grab this grace right up here. And then I'm going to put a marker right here. This is the second rise that we need to grab to get our second memory stone. So it's the same thing. We're going to go there and we got to you know find three turtles and um, unlock the tower. So basically you want to run from that grace, run up the cliff here, and then you'll see this like, uh, you know, broken down building. Run up there, past these guys, you'll find another grace. So once you arrive at this tower, go to the altar and activate it. It'll say same thing, seek three wise beasts. Uh, get the turtle that's right next to it, hidden in the bush. Then the second turtle is in the middle of this lake. You'll see like a little like water drop thing. Uh, and then the third one is right around the corner here, right behind you when you're at the altar. So you have the one right in the bush, right behind you in the, in the backside where the lake is. 
or I guess I could say pond. Uh, it's invisible, so you just have to hit it. Then run up here and then grab the second memory stem. All right, so from there, we are going to go to our final destination that we have to complete our build. So we're going to put this marker right here, and we're going to go back to the waypoint ruins where Sorceress Selen was, and we are going to give her the Academy Scroll. And once we give her the Academy Scroll, we'll be have access to more spells. We have a, a Swift Glintstone Pebble and a Greater Glintstone Pebble. Uh, and then we also will have the Glint Blade Phalanx, which I believe is a really good defensive spell that I would probably pick up. Uh, so now we have four spells. We've got Rock Sling, a Carrion Slicer, the Glintstone Pebble, and now Glint Blade Phalanx. Uh, now, we, now that we have this set up, we're going to run over to our final destination. Alright, so heading out of the Waypoint Ruins, we are going to go down towards the lake, and then just ride Torrent down and head towards the Marker. Uh, well, we will have to face an NPC, but he'll be easy now that we have Rock Sling. Uh, just watch the fight and just see how I absolutely destroy him. So, equip the Meteorite Staff equip your rock sling and for some reason every time you cast a rock sling when the rocks come out of the ground they like the enemies will dodge when the rocks come out but when you actually throw them they won't dodge so if you want to put up your phalanx so he'll heal just keep getting some distance from him and then just keep chucking rock sling at him and he just he can't avoid it he'll try to heal himself he'll dodge and then boom he's dead so that was pretty easy uh, this guy will come and try and help you if you uh, don't you don't kill him fast enough. But but from here, continue on to turn and just keep going till the end of this lake. And at the end of this lake is the Merc Water Catacombs, where we are going to obtain a pretty powerful summon uh, after killing this boss. So go ahead, open this up, and now we are at the Merc Water Catacombs. This is a pretty short catacomb, so just go ahead and clear it out, grab the lever, and go to the boss room. All right, now that we are at the ball store, go ahead and equip the Lone Wolf Ashes that we got from Ronnie. And then just go ahead and absolutely destroy this dude with Rock Sling. So go ahead, summon your wolves. And then just keep distance. And you can just see how much damage that Rock Sling does. Because uh, the Meteorite Staff actually gives a damage boost to all gravity spells. And Rock Sling is considered a gravity spell. And you can see he's just very much distracted by the wolves, and then just make quick work of him. Easy peasy. Now once you have, once you beat him, you will get the Banished Knight Engvil Summon, which is a powerful summon, especially early to mid game, uh, for our sorcerer. And this finally completes our starter guide to the astrologer. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it very informative and very helpful. Please don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more guides and some more builds probably coming up here soon. I just wanted to give out a starter guide for one of the most used classes in the game. I'm probably going to do some more of these uh, starter classes as well, such as the Vagabond, the Prisoner, and other ones. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Deuces.